I'm Jim with UltrasoundBoardReview.com. Today we're going to be talking about how to calculate the left ventricular function using the parasitic long axis view. The most common reason why someone receives an echocardiogram is to assess left ventricular function. The reason for that is that it correlates with the patient's symptoms, prognosis, events, and complications in a large number of conditions. So I will illustrate how to measure the left ventricular function using this diagram here. So it is extremely important that we learn to accurately determine left ventricular function the best we can. Once you obtain your personal long axis view, you're going to scroll to end diastole or the frame just after the mitral valve closes or when the left ventricle is at its widest or biggest. And keep in mind your EKG should be right around your R wave, just depending on the patient. So start on the interventricular septum, and you're going to measure inner to inner. So if you start on this side of the wall, you're going to end on this side of the wall. Or if you start on this side of the wall, you're going to end on this part of the wall. So let's just start right here on the inside here, and we'll measure like this, to about right there. And then you're going to continue on measuring perpendicular to the long axis of the left ventricle. And you'll try to keep it as close to the mitral valve tips as you can. Inner to inner. And then you'll measure your posterior wall. So from here to here. And again, you want to be as close to the mitral valve as you can. Now you're going to scroll to end systole, or when the left ventricle is at its smallest, and when the aortic valve is closed or just barely opened, depending on your lab, and correlate that with your EKG, and that should be right around the end of the T wave, right about there. What you'll do is you'll try to stay in the same area where you measured in diastole and you'll start with inner edge here and then move down perpendicular to the long axis of the left ventricle, try to be as straight as you can, to inner edge. Now what we're going to do is take the numbers that we get from measuring in the personal long axis and we're going to plug them into the fractional shortening equation. And you'll have to know this for your echo boards. So what this is, is left ventricular internal diameter in diastole minus left ventricular internal diameter in systole divided by left ventricular internal diameter in diastole times 100. Don't forget the 100. So let's just say that our internal diameter in diastole was 4.5. Three. And then let's say that our internal diameter in systole is 2.8. Well, this is going to equal about 1.5. So now we take this number and we're going to divide it by the left ventricular internal diameter in diastole. So divide by 4.3. And this gives us about 0 0.35. Don't forget the times by 100. And this will give us 35%. Now, you can take this number and times it by 2, and this will give you an estimated ejection fraction, so 70. EF. And that's how you get the ejection fraction using the personal long axis. Thanks for watching.